Hi everybody, how you doing? Welcome back. It's you, it's me, I'm Grant, you're my team, you're joining us for part 20, I think this is 29 now, of Final Fantasy XV Royal Edition. So, what we're going to do is we're going to start off with what I promised at the end of the last episode. And we're going to go for this quest. Everything in order. Yep. Adventurer from another world. Fingers crossed I can get it done in one sitting because it's quite lengthy. And we're really going to drive there, manually. Ignis. So Nox, I've been taking pics of whatever catches my eye, but what do you want to see? Hmm. Get some more shots of specs. Ah, <sighs> gotcha. I'll see what I can do. Ignis, best boy. Let's do this. Right, uh, I think it's L1? Yes, it is. Okay, good. Pull that camera out. Driving down the road, we 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 driving down the road, I can't believe you won't let me fast travel, Ignis. You are petty. Why does it feel like we're going at a snail's pace? Man, that's one funky looking mountain. Wouldn't want to pass up a shot of this. Can I? <sighs> I guess so. Shoot. Alright, let's get a little closer then. Mood, Gladio. Mood. There should be a nice change of pace. Me out of here. Easy now. Knocked overhead. They come way. We'll meet again. Take a shot from here. Good call. Now it's picture time. Ready or not? He'll say it. I bet you. I bet. Uh, let me get this shot. Fuck! Dorks. Oh, love the lighting. Where's my car at? The hunt is on. Right, mess them up. I'm sick of them already. Try this exercise. 
That was a rather tiring endeavor. <sighs> What can I say? Ignis? He's the best. Right. Uh manual. I will take over. Go. All right. I wanna have a word with Cindy about this car because I do not feel like it's going any faster. Pretty boys in the front, best boys in the back. There we go. gets when she talks about cars yeah it's actually pretty cute what dude could you not not what <laughs> i say we take a break sounds reasonable enough right um customize i think what are y'all after are today you joining us install here we go to upgrade there we go right okay Stave off any sullying and helps. Yep, got it. Okay, and select. How's this? I'll polish her up nice for you. Nice. Fixed her up real nice. Right. Hopefully now we can feel the difference. Auto. Uh, quest location. Adventure from another world. Everything in order. Yep. You bet. Oh, that's much better. That is much better. I can feel that already. Matoya's Cave. I feel like we'd be going faster if I drove. Can you hurry up? I would like to be there and done. Today. Ignis, pull over a sec. I'm driving. Certainly. Ignis, you're too slow. I'm driving. Where do we go from here? I'll tell you exactly where we go from here. With me behind the wheel. Time to go. Mm hmm. Must be an automatic car. Why don't you dare sneeze in this car? And now we really are British. That's all we gotta do. Hurry up. It does feel faster marginally. 
but still. So, what are you doing? Right, hold on. Turn left and follow it straight down. Okay! We're nearly there. And we can wait with the Mountain hey, Gold soundtrack. <laughs> right. Okay, so... I think it would be nice if we could actually see what we're going to be in for today, so... It's bedtime. Huh? Well... Tomorrow in-game, but yeah. You know what I mean. So let's see those Ignis photos then, Prompto. Absolutely. I ship it. <gasps> Are you drinking and driving, Ignis? For shame! Perfect Dude. timing. <laughs> That's a cool ass shot. Wait. Oh no, he's not. I thought Ignis was dabbing and being cringe. I was about to be like, you were about to lose so many best boy points with me. Bitch. We can't have that. Right, okay, so. Uh, the quest is behind me. And over around here. The fat chocobo! Hey. Hi. Yikes! That is the most humongous chocobo I've ever seen. Yeah. Off me. You okay? You know, considering you're underneath a giant bird, it appears to have found a new nesting spot. Help her. Usually, I can entice it into moving with a treat. Right, chocobo feet. Okay, hold on. Okay. Got beef with my greens? Um, uh, he's a pretty picky eater. He only eats the very best veggies. Sounds like somebody I know. That's so. Nah, Noct wouldn't eat his veggies if they were the last food on Eos. Alright, perhaps we should pop by the post. Wiz might have some good food for sale. Premium geese all greens. Okay. The fat chocobo seems absolutely famished. You could have fooled me. Procure some premium Gisal greens. Huh. So it's Eos, not huh. Eos. Okay. Never knew chocobos could grow up to be such big birds. It is quite curious, given that chocobos are known for their 
high metabolism. <sighs> Those lucky cluckers. No body issues aside, this is kind of a pressing matter. So why don't we give the young lady a hand? Wow, I can't believe you went with that, guys. Right, okay, uh, quest location and adventure from another world? Because you're going to take me to Wiz? Let's travel. Because we've been there, I think. I think it's because we've been there. That's why it'll let me. It feels good. You feel good. You feel good. Finally getting somewhere in this episode. 15 minutes in. With recordings, I'm obviously going to chop... I'm going to have chopped this down so that we're cutting out the fatty filler. <sighs> Yay. So how have you been? Green beans. Give me them Why green beans. Stock up on potions and stuff. Nice. nice. You're, You're being, being helpful, helpful for a change. change. What do you mean for a change? change? I love it. Love. Right. Okay. Um. So where's a guy supposed to find fat chocobo feed? Let's ask the shop clerk. We're one of the breeders. Ah, oh, we're really lucky. There's a place to stay out here. Howdy. Cool. Right. Let me buy uh, a potion for that one guy that we didn't fix up last episode and then there's uh, premium geese all greens cool thanks come back soon nice right move the fat chocobo these okay. are positively grand yeah so leafy i better love it and the little lady will be saved Speaking of, she looked a bit peculiar. Those pointed ears suddenly piqued my curiosity. Didn't notice. Well, you can have a good look when we go and give her these greens. Sounds a bit creepy just staring at a chick. Four guys turning around saying, you know, let's go stare at a chick. Like, what? What? Anyway, adventure from another world. Fast travel. You bet. Yay. We like fast travel! We like fast travel! Mm -mm. <sighs> fast travel in an open world game is a motherfucking blessing. Yep. Move! I love your weakness, but move! Right. Come here, Sesame Street looking ass. Big bird looking ass. Kick a door down looking ass. Sit on a chick looking ass. Right. We brought you some high quality greens. Just set them down uh, over there. Take it easy up there, will ya? <sighs> Thank goodness! <sighs> oh, thanks so much. You're lifesavers. Don't sweat it. After all, helping people's what hunters do best. Whoa now. Easy there, tough guy. Hunters? You know, people who slay wild beasts and stuff. Oh. So you're like adventurers. I'm Yajime of the Y Tribe. The what tribe? <laughs> so glad I ran into you. I have the perfect quest for you adventurers. You know that big walled area nearby? Something terrible is about to happen inside. You mean the Imperial base? What are they plotting within? They're preparing to perform a divine summoning. They're going to summon a god! <laughs> right! <gasps> As opposed to... I believe the name speaks for itself. And you're not freaking out? If that wicked primal shows up here, this world will be in big trouble, you know? You don't want that to happen, do you? You have to help me, please! 
Okay. Jeez. Oh, great! Here, take this Link Pearl. We can use it to keep in touch with each other. Oh, slow down a sec. Let's be sure to meet up again a little later. All right, adventurers. See you soon. Did we stare at Noctis's hand? There was nothing in there. Guess she wasn't listening. Right. Um, Final Fantasy fans will know um, when she said primal, she was talking about. A word in Does this mean we're locked into helping her? And going on an adventure? Given the Empire's penchant for demonizing the Divine, I'm afraid we can't stand to let this go. So what? We just follow her straight into the belly of the beast? <sighs> well, my friends, doesn't sound like we have much of a choice. I love it. <laughs> okay, resume, because we're still carrying on the quest. In order. Yep. yep. Okay, uh, primals are the summons of Final Fantasy XIV, because, like, summons always have, like, a, like, well, they don't always, but they have a lot of different names. There's summons, astrals, idolons, primals. In 16, they're going to be called icons. You know, it's just, it's weird. Oh, Guardian Force in 8. It's pretty cool. Next. This is appropriate. What are you doing? Get back in your seat! Child! Funny fucker. Get <laughs> Ignis, what was your face? Okay, so we're here. Can you let Should me in? Nice change of pace. Let me in. Let me in. Let's go in. Check. You gonna get that? How am I supposed to get it? Like uh, this? Oh, hi there. It's me. Can you hear me okay? Loud and clear. Oh, perfect. Now we can talk to each other any time. Okay, listen, first... <sighs> Never mind. Where are you? Inside the wall. I found a place where I can see what they're up to. You're already inside? Uh, look, we're on our way. Just stay put. All right. Be careful, adventurers. The boys then come out at night. And you most certainly want to steer clear of them, so you'd better act while the sun is up. See you soon. Okay. It is... Wait, this content is recommended for players level 45 or higher. Also, you cannot save or load your game while inside. Uh, I mean, we're not level 45, but we have magic and items. Let's do it. After Noctis and his companions save the strange young woman, Ijime, she provides information about a dangerous primal who shall soon be summoned into this world. The chosen king turned brave adventurer must now infiltrate the Imperial base and put a stop to the summoning ceremony. Should be good. Should be a good time. Yup. Mmm. Petus keep the sky. 
It's quiet. Too quiet. After the Empire withdrew its troops, this base remained completely barren until now. Yeah, Jimmy? Where are you? Hey! Hey! Can you see me? Up here! There's something I want to show you. Do you think you can possibly make it over this way? On my way. Stay right where you are. She's got something to show us. I'll go. By yourself? Yeah, it's faster that way. And who knows what she'll do if we take too long. Good point. We'll stay here and take care of whatever comes our way. Rejoin Ichime. Ew, it's disgusting. I have my daggers, I have my blizzard. Press X to jump across gaps and reach Ichime. Okay. Oh. I was like, where? Here. We're now a platformer. What? Oh god. Ooh. A cat. Baby. Oh, you're joking. Oh, oh, we're in for one of those times. 10 out of 10 responsive game experience. Use point warp mark as if you fall from high ground. Cool. Uh, let's carry on though. Okay. Okay. And. Yay. Yeah. Nice. Keep going. You'll be able to see it pretty soon. Right. This better be worth it. I have a feeling it will be. Right. Heading up the stairs. Okay. Ooh, very nice. Wait. Okay. Oh. Oh, wait, hold on. I have an idea. And then... Yeah. I hate myself so much. There we go. Okay. Oh god, no. No. <sighs> right. Fight or flight so, response. What was it you wanted to show me? And what the hell's up with those ears and that tail? First, what I wanted to show you. Here, why don't you use this telescope and see for yourself? I don't know where I'm supposed to look. Do you see that huge machine and that strange looking ritual going on? Uh, uh let me see. Ooh. Right. So there's a ritual. Look at the fat chocobo. We ought to be able to get to the ritual area through that door. Yes, but I'm pretty sure it's locked now. I think they locked it after I escaped. So nobody could interfere with the summoning. 
Sounds like they're really devoted to their cause. Okay. Right. Airships. I have to wonder. Wait, what are they? What are those spheres moving around down there? They're moving now? That's funny. I'm pretty sure they were stationary when I escaped from this place. That's not a good sign. Right, okay, so that's strange machines, that's summoning stuffs, and... Looks like the Empire knows my weakness. Oh. Are you admiring that big black Upkalu over there? Isn't he the cutest thing? Oh, I just want to take him home with me. No, no, and let me say from experience, you do not want to get near that thing. <laughs> oh, God, no. Right, okay. oh, hold on. There was something then, I think. Call me crazy. Oh, it must have been lens flat. Wait. Okay, right. Uh, so if we can't get in through the door because it's locked, then... Wait. Why not do the tower then? Head around that way and stuff. What's with that statue over there? You mean, you haven't come across one in your adventures? I can sense the ethereal power of the winds flowing through that statue. I suspect it has something to do with the divine summoning of Garuda. <laughs> well then, I guess we'd better go check it out. There we go. What? What do you mean, one out of three? Oh, we're gonna be here for a while. Right, so you have that. I will be streamlining this. I will absolutely be streamlining this in editing. Hey, it's that chocobo. Oh no! What's he doing here? He's my partner, you know? I can't really look after him properly while I'm in the middle of my research, so I let him eat whatever he wants, which happens to be quite a lot. Huh? What kind of machine is that? I believe it's this world's version of a teleporter. I found myself right next to it when I came to, so it may have brought me here. What do you mean, this world? You know, your world. The one we're in right now. That device must have linked up with one of the ancient Allegan teleporters I found back home. I racked my brain, and that's the only theory I could come up with. Sure. Sounds like something straight out of a video game. Oh, fourth and wall break. For my ears and tail, have you really never seen a Makote before? You mean they're real? Very real. Two out of three. Okay, cool. What are those things? And what are they doing? They're Ixali Beastmen. They're getting ready to perform the Divine Summoning. It's a secret ritual that calls forth Garuda, Lady of the Vortex, chosen primal of the Ixal. Right, I get it. Just like forging a covenant. What happens if this Garuda shows up, anyway? Well, the gods manifest themselves by drawing energy from the land. And this particular god is supposed to be really vicious. Uh-huh. Which means lots of destruction. Well, guess we better do something then. You exactly. catch on quick, boy. I know it's a dangerous endeavor, but you adventurers have to stop the ritual before it's too late. 
Okay, regroup with the others. Well, that should about cover it. Probably can't get into the ritual area just yet. Maybe we better start by checking out that statue. Sounds good. And I'll go with you this time. Yay. That's quite a story you brought back down with you. No wonder you took so long. Sorry. I'm kind of jealous. It sounds just like a video game. But we mustn't treat it like one. Still, we've seen our fair share of fantastical happenings, so we can't write it off outright. Yeah. Yajime seems genuinely worried about the whole thing. Least we can do is go check it out. Oh, thank you. You adventurers are the best. <laughs> for the statue okay right so it's that way <laughs> okay guys oh thanks there we go yay <gasps> watch out you Jimmy I'll distract him you guys take him out Last thing I need now I see not close it's all you, Roger. Let me know. Was that a spell? I just so happened to have a little bit of arcana. Leave that healing to me. Thank you. How come you can't do that? How the hell should I know? Focus on the task at hand. Physics. I have an idea. Here it comes. Healing for you. Here we are. Physics. Not. Get a move on. Nice. Okay. Are we all right? No problems here. We'll do that. Thought it would never end. That takes care of that. Tell me, what sort of magic were you using? Just a simple curative spell. I'm only a novice. No way! You're out of this world! Literally. <laughs> you sure saved our skins. Just don't forget to save your own, too. Okay, so the statue. The statue. The statue. Hi! So, is this that statue you talked about? Not simply any statue, it's an artistic interpretation of the Emissary of the Winds. One of the messengers. A friend of Gentiana's? Um, she never said anything about him. Well, it's not surprising. Likely because the only tomes that mention it are of dubious origin. Her name has been lost to the ages. No one's sure it ever existed at all. The Empire seems pretty sure. I mean, check out all this equipment. They're doing some serious research. I'd like to inspect it as well. There's something unusual about it. A strange power slumbering within. Who cares about some forgotten chunk of Imperial rock? I think we've got more important business on our hands. Indeed, the Ixor. Considering the way those sentries attacked earlier, I'd say the Beastmen have begun using the base as their own. Then I say we let sleeping statues lie and go kick some Beastman butt. Mm hmm Uh, all right. Bitch. Something is wrong about the statue. Right. Head for the teleporter. Which should be around this way. Check it out! Meteor shards? The Ixali beastmen must be using them. Okay. See, why does it sound so nice in a British accent? Ixali beastmen. To throw down with those Ixel? It depends on what kind of reception we get. Jimmy, didn't you say they almost captured you? Yes, I was so scared. If my chocobo hadn't been with me, who knows what would have happened? To think of all the horrifying things they could be doing to me right now. Oh, whatever those horrifying things are, I definitely don't want them being done to me. Yeah. We're glad you made it to safety. Mm hmm. Here we go. Okay. 
Shit. Gotcha. Right. Well done, boys. Okay, never mind. Thanks. Yeah. I like it a lot. Okay, so. Um, hi. The door. Oh! Whew. We're nearly there. Okay. Get away from it, get away from it, get away from it, and prompto. Ignis, get away from it. Okay. Well, we just used up his potion. Oh, thank you, Ichi Mei. Okay. Right. Shit. Good. There we go. Is everyone all right? Peachy, thanks for the healing. I must say, the Ixali Beastmen seem all but hell-bent on seeing their so-called divine summoning to completion. Well, we'd better hurry then. I don't think we'd stand much of a chance against the Lady of the Vortex. Gotta find a way in first. They should be just beyond that wall. Okay. This is the teleporter, I presume. It looks strikingly similar to Solheim's magic technology. You think this is what the Ixel used to get here? Actually, eh, how should I put this? You see, they didn't come here of their own accord. I brought them. What? I kind of borrowed some valuable scholarly documents from their camp, and they kind of caught me red-handed. I managed to escape into some ancient ruins, but then there was this little accident, and, well, here we all are. I'm sorry I kept quiet about it. I should have told you. Uh, well, no need to apologize now. I mean, you did cause some trouble, but at least you're trying to make things right. Yeah. If it was me, I probably would have just turned tail and run. We appreciate you helping us understand the situation. Why not allow us to help you in return? Exactly. Yeah. Leave it to us. After all, that's what adventurers do, right? Save people and stuff? Wow, guys. What would I do without you? I'm gonna do everything I can to help, too. 
Okay. Stop the summoning ritual. We like a good scrap. Emergency lockdown activated. Security clearance required. Oh, good. Gotta get it unlocked. Great. Great. Unlock the gate. Oh. There, all done. We should be able to open the gate now. That was too convenient. Oh. Order to withdraw from Perpetus Keep. All personnel to evacuate immediately. In light of Chief Basithia's current condition, military officials have ordered a complete and immediate evacuation of the base. All garrison units and subordinate troops stationed in the surrounding area should begin withdrawal at once. Officers are asked to obey proper procedure and maintain strict secrecy about these orders. Great. Charming. Time for a good scrap, methinks. Yeah, we can do this. I'm just checking how much memory I've got on my laptop. We're gonna do this. I have a good feeling. Buckle up, boys. And girls. down here. This divine intervention is the last thing we need. Oh, these insolent insects seem not to know their place. Behold, as my gales drown out your arrogant protestations, tremble as my winds tear you limb from limb! Extra content boss fight, Garuda. Surrender your 
yourselves unto me. I will feast upon your ether. None shall stand against the wind. Duty commenced. Anger. It's a good thing we have high elixirs. Right. There we go. Oh, hi. Okay. Wait. Oh, I have an idea. There we go. Oh wow. You know what to do. I always do. My power is limitless. My power is Pato, you're up. Oh wow, she's divided. Oh, hi there, opening. <laughs> Different names. Pronto, look alive. Right, okay. Go. Nice. Ooh. Shereda? There we go. Shit. Yeah, we'll do that. That's great. Bullets. 
fine. Then we'll just do this. Oops, wrong character, but okay. We didn't even kill her. No mortal should possess such power. Oh, we did. This is impossible. Never mind. Yay. <laughs> Not. Adventurers! Are you all right? Yes. We three, at least. Oh no. No! This can't be! There you are! Oh, oh man! I, I thought you disappeared on us! Are you hurt? No, I... I think I was just dreaming. Uh, you sure you're okay there, Sleeping Beauty? Yeah. I'm fine. Oh, thank goodness. I was so afraid you'd been whisked away to my world this time. Speaking of which, do you think you'll be able to make it back? Well, I'm not sure. If I manage to arrive here in one piece, I imagine I'll be able to head home safely too. Do you really think so? But of course, I'm not worried. Besides, as a natural historian, the opportunity to explore an unknown world fills my heart with excitement. I'm going to stay here a while and do some more research. If you adventurers have anything you'd like me to investigate, just let me know. Oh, that's right. I never asked any of your names. For that, come on, show the young lady a little kindness. I'm Gladio. Me next. Prompto's my name. Photography's my game. Photography? Taking pictures? Hold on a sec. You had your turn. How can I forget the bespectacled gentleman with the bespectacled robe? this. You're some wingman. I was defeated by the gods and awakened by a traveler from another world. Oh, don't make me cry again. I'm tired of crying playing this game. She mentioned the era of Twilight and the, the music. Oh. I'm too sensitive. Noctis acquired the mark of the Vortex, a symbol of the ancient messenger's favour. Noctis can now summon the messenger of the winds, 
Hold down L2 when the button is displayed in battle. It's random, but yay. Like, which summon you get is random, except for, I think, one story instance. In, well, two story instances, because we've already had the Rama one, and then we get one much later that's fixed. Glamour Prism Mikote. Hey, we get the cat boy outfits. <laughs> oh no! That's gonna be fun to play around with. Okay. New combat content. Emergency lockdown mode has been disengaged, allowing access to training node to initiate a combat session. Trading posts now open, exchange materials, and in combat for powerful arms, inspired by the Lady of the Vortex. Um, very quickly before we end it off today. Okay. But like, strength. Although, I'm very curious now. Ooh, it raises defense. Ah, <gasps> beach. That's your new outfit. Slut. That titty window. And then Gladio stayed same, I don't care. But like Noctis, um, yeah. Uh, where is it, Mikot? Um, Mikote. Um, hmm. I kind of like where he is with his attack, to be honest. So, Ignis and Prompto just got small miniature upgrades for costumes, and that's the first time that anyone's changed their costume since the beginning of the game. <laughs> That's great. Okay, so we are going to end it off here. So, if you have enjoyed today's crossover episode with Final Fantasy XIV in Final Fantasy XV Royal Edition, then by all means, feel free to press like, subscribe, stick around, and as always, take care of yourself, stay safe, and I'll see you guys next time. Catch you later. Bye.